I've woken up and it's, I think I woke up about nine o'clock. My cousin's actually come to work and the rest of the family is still sleeping and it's 10 o'clock. But they live in a beautiful house with great views like that. So I can sit on the windowsill and just observe the countryside for a bit until they all wake up. But first of all, I've got to get a coffee. I don't know what the hell I've done to my hair, but it's not good. I'm not liking it. It's just way too short. Uh, <clears throat> can't wait for it to grow a little bit longer. Oh, finally the sun's come out. And look at the view that I've got from the window. I just love it. Oh. Right, we are ready to start day two. Off, um, letting my cousins do the, be the tour guides for a change, and they're going to take us up to the lakes. Approaching the lakes, you can see the mountains right over there somewhere. Hello, caravan. Look at that. <coughs> I'm sure a lot of you have been to Windermere. It's probably the most touristy spot in the Lake District. It's not looking too busy, actually, or is it? Yes, it is. It is rather busy around here just following them they seem to know where they're going because they don't live too far from the Lake District so they know the areas so we're walking down to Windermere which you can see in the foreground and uh, just trying to get the boys out for a walk there's a couple of toilets in Windermere and it's contactless entry into the toilets Doo -doo. That's brilliant. Oh, I love taking these bee roads. Ah, I miss not doing these because I've got a flare, but I'm in a car now. Well, I'm not driving, by the way. He's driving. <laughs> Is this a two-way two -way road? Yeah. Be a bit of a queue of cars up there. Is that approaching the pass? Don't know. Oh, I just love places like this. Look at that. That's so gorgeous. Whoa, look at that house. Oh, that's so beautiful. And the queue is still there. I wonder what's going on. But, what a beautiful place to be stopping the car. Got a little label that comes up saying extreme caution. Wheels on hard not pass. Oh look, there's a camper van parked up there. Oh, little street. Glad I'm not in flare when doing this. I mean, he's in a small car and we're struggling. And the one pint, uh, one row passes. There's so many cars here that um, there's a bit of a gridlock going on. <laughs> now we're going up on the hard knot. So this is Ian's first time driving up the hard knot pass. Crazy. Be careful, keep your eyes on the road and the side. <laughs> there we go. Up we go in. Well, off the edge we go. I'm a passenger. <laughs> I could take videos. Hello. Oh, it's so beautiful to see the road meander through the mountains. So we're on the hard knot. And uh, when you look at the cars, you can see that they're nearly vertical. <laughs> and you can feel it as well. Oh, there's my cousin's car up ahead. I'm going up. Oh, we can feel the car strain. Can you feel it? You're putting it in dynamic mode. We're going up the hard knot and we're like that. Head back on the head race. The car's like that. We're having to stop because one of the cars is overheating coming up the hard knot pass. And uh, the rest of them have got service on their phones. And Vodafone, which I have on my phone. Guess what? Zero. I'm walking it up the hard knot while those guys start the cars up. Uh, let's hope 
that one makes it up. We're not far from the top, so it should be fine. So let's see how they go coming up the hard knot. I'm walking it. Here he comes. Come on. Get your foot down. Is it coming? Yep, she's doing good. No overheating. There comes my brother. Up he comes. Well, I'll catch a lift now. <laughs> yep. Go downhill. Heading towards Wasdale. Um, this road has been quite tricky for us because there's loads of vehicles coming in the opposite direction. Um, quite a few. I mean, the time is about five o'clock. Approaching Wasdale, you can see what I mean. There's loads of cars coming out. Oh, it's just not a good time to come down that road. So here we go. Wasdale, keep going. Here we come to Wasdale. And that scaffold pike up ahead. That one over there. I see Loch Ness monster. Here's my brother. Wanted to go over there to meditate. It seems so little amongst everything. Whoa! Brother's just walked from over there to here and he's huffing and puffing. <laughs> There's no way he's going to be able to do scaffold bike. <laughs> Knackered. So unfair. So uh, my cousin needs to go on a Zoom conference call and since we haven't got Wi-Fi or anything around here, we're heading to Wasdale Head Pub, which is great because that is one of my favourite pubs. Can you see it? Walsdale Hill. One of my favourite pubs. <laughs> so these guys haven't been there, so we're gonna show them. Wait. This is behind the Walsdale Inn pub. I didn't get to see this last time. Well, <laughs> this, this pub is just spectacular, don't you think? I mean, with a backdrop like that, with the water coming down, Seating areas over here, I have to say that the Wasdale is probably one of the best positioned pubs I've ever been to so far. So at the Wasdale Inn, I went to go and get my drinks and I'm having a lot of shandy. Uh, the guy that was serving me recognised me from a year back when I did a video on Wasdale Inn. And he goes, weren't you the one that did the video for YouTube? I go, yeah. So sweet. Ian's got little visitors, little mates that he's made. <laughs> Complaint of the day, the radio channels, BBC Asia, crap, Capital Extra, crap, BBC Radio 1 Extra, crap. None of them are playing anything that we can listen to and be happy. To prove the kind of cack we've been listening to, Oh my god, this is off a radio station. This is not our choice. And we couldn't put my phone on to it to play any of my tunes. And his phone's run out of juice. Oh god. So we've come out uh, for our late night walk. It's actually very pleasant around here. Just looking at the old architecture of the Victorian houses. Uh, we went down a cobbled street. Oh, it's quite lovely around here. I think it's about 11 o'clock and we decided to come out. Oh, it was like nine hours sat in the car and we only practically drove to the Lake District which is like an hour away. It just makes me feel ill. Oh, some of these houses are so beautiful. Look at that. See what I mean? There's some beautiful houses around here. Oh, it's a bit my sightseeing actually, just looking at homes. Come to bed, it's about one o'clock. Because I've got the TV in the room, I can watch some normal stuff. And I've got 
couples come dine with me to watch and these two are, are doing their own thing. Yeah.